How did Butterhead get his nickname? <laughs> well, <laughs> he likes to butter women up with sticks of butter. <laughs> oh my God. I'm Jimmy Blair, Town and Avalon. Miguel Fairbrother. Paolo Best. Sean Young Chief. Gregory Dominic Ojig. Dwayne Murphy. And I play Wajo Midas. Butterhead. Thunder Montour. Osaraze. Play the role of Elijah. I'll be playing Leon on Mohawk Girls on APTN. Uh, I auditioned. I saw a posting somewhere and I had let my agent know and I said I want to get into the room for this. And it was literally the audition from hell. At first, uh, he didn't have a name. Uh, he did, but it wasn't mentioned. He was just an angry guy. The thing wouldn't work. The camera file wouldn't tr convert. Deleted uh, on the transfer website thing like three, four times. I was up till like four in the morning trying to get this thing sent off. It was actually the day that I found out that I got it. I learned that my grandmother passed away that day. But, and then I also booked Mohawk Girl. So it was my first big television uh, extravaganza. So you gotta take the bad with the good, you know? So yeah, it was quite the day. Something about me that might surprise fans. Years ago, I did a dance movie. And now everyone thinks I'm a huge, massive dancer, when I'm actually not. My voice, I pitch it up for Osorazi. Normally this is how I speak, whereas Osorazi speaks up here a little bit. I have a theater company. I'm a pretty good gardener. I love to garden. <laughs> I love to plant tomatoes. I love cooking. Wait, so me, he's a good gardener as well? Oh, we're gonna have to have like a grow walk. I don't know, is that a thing? A grow walk? I'll have my tomatoes, he'll have his tomatoes. I eat meat, I barbecue, I drink beers. I am a very self-trained, highly skilled martial artist from watching a lot of Bruce Lee movies. Well, here's one. When I was five, I wanted to be a singer, an actor, and a cop. So now I'm playing a cop. <laughs> Dream come true, baby. We're actually in Ganawake, right? We're on um, a First Nation community. Like, you can't fake that set. The support of all these community members coming out to whatever we need, background performers, you know. And it's all people from Ganawaki. It's all Mohawk people. Working with Brittany is so awesome because this is like an actress who's so fearless in what she does on the show that it raises my performance to another level. I think um, this is gonna be really fun for Anna to try. I think this is a whole new side of her she's trying to look at a little bit. Not typically, I think, a relationship she would pursue at all. So we'll see if Anna can keep up with my innocence. And Heather, from day one, I met her as soon as I came into town. And she was very open with me and very open with explaining how the Mohawk culture is reflected in the show. So from that alone, just being accepted right away, I loved it. Caitlin, my, my beautiful Caitlin, it's just such a pleasure to work with her. I mean, she's just such a, a, a ball of just good energy and she always brings it. So I love working with her. Jenny's one of probably my favorite team partners I've ever had and I've been doing this for over 10 years now. She is ultra talented. It makes it really easy to work with her. But then off camera, um, we get along really well. We have the same sense of humor. And these guys are just a force. Like each one of them is a force. Well, I think Thunder, he's kind of got Kind of like a one once uh, track mind as far as, you know, he really understands this small community, you know, and, and he's really connected to it and, and loyal to it. It's a struggle for a lot of um, two-spirited people. How do I fit into this world? Because I'm different, I guess. So I think it's so important and it's so beautiful that it's you can do it. It's You're just a person and, and just be yourself, really. No, I, at the end of the day, I don't think Wajo's a bad guy. I really don't. Going through this season, I kind of appreciate that relationship that they have. It works in its weird way. I hope I am a lot more humble than my assist. Let's put it this way, uh, he's taken the hometown hero thing and really ran with it. So he has a very fun time with that title, I think. I think the, the big thing that Leon struggles with um, is just understanding the Mohawk culture when he comes in. African Americans have gone through their own struggles, so he understands that aspect of it, which is why he's so nurturing of Caitlin's feelings. Over the course of, of the last few seasons, you know, he, he's learned a few things. He was gonna have a kid with Caitlin, that didn't happen. Um, so he's had to go, you know, he's had to do his individual soul searching, but I think he remains still butterheaded. <laughs>
the core of it all. But I, I think this season, is we're gonna see some pretty neat, a, a neat journey for Butterhead. Hey, I'm Tanner, and tune in to Mohawk Girls, season four. I'm Dwayne Murphy, playing Leon for this season four of Mohawk Girls. Make sure you tune in and watch every single episode so you can see my cool kung fu martial arts skills. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Mohawk Girls is all over social media. Don't forget to tune in, check out the hashtags, and we will see you guys soon. You should definitely tune into season four of Mohawk Girls because it is going to be so beast. Don't forget to tune into season four of Mohawk Girls on APTN. You're gonna be blown away with the excitement that's going on with this season. I'm excited, I can't wait. Oh my God, it's gonna be great. <laughs>